Switching out old outlets with Leviton's new Push Click Done Edge Outlets. Quite the name for something so simple. Now with any electrical project, regardless if it's an uh, existing older style outlet, even if it is an older Decora style or new construction, make sure you turn the power off and double check it. So over on that existing unit, you can actually see that I did unscrew the terminals. And honestly, if you have enough wire sticking out, don't even bother and just snip it right at the ends because you're gonna be wanting to get a new fresh straight link. So you gotta get rid of those hooks anyway. A definite must have tool is electrical pliers. I love this pair. I pretty much did my entire home edition with this pair. Like existing receptacles, these ones do come with a wire stripping gauge. So you know how much wire to cut back just to give you the perfect length to get a good connection. It really is just as simple as push and click. They weren't lying on the box. And so it takes about a third to a fourth of the time as it would to make your loops and screw in and out the terminals on an older existing style. Once it's all put back in the box, it's really just flip the switch and cross your fingers that you wired it correctly, which I would really hope you did based on the fact that the terminals are color coded now. So it is as simple as black to black, white to white. Now, most Romex cable doesn't have a green sheathing, but it should be intuitive that your green is your bare copper earth or ground connection, whatever you want to call it. The bare copper goes to green. Now, Leviton came out with these about a year and a half ago, but you could only buy them online. And it's really only been recently that I've seen them in my store. These little testers are a must have for any DIY toolbox. And most of them come in combo kits with a plug type tester, which tells you if it's even wired connector, and then a non-contact pen style. All you do is push the button. If it beeps, don't touch the wires. Did I also mention that they have these in switches? Uh, I saw both that they have two-way and three-way, and they're also child-tested. A couple notable features that actually are pretty sweet. The tabs on the top and bottom are actually uh, about an eighth to a quarter inch bigger than a normal receptacle, which is really nice for any of that shoddy drywall work where you've made that hole way too big. And if it gets in the way, it is scored so you can simply just bend and break it off. Let's say you have a receptacle that you need isolated the top and bottom. Sometimes you throw it on a different switch or you just want separate power from different uh, breakers. You can still isolate them by just taking the little tab off the side and break away the tab just as you would any other type of receptacle. And just to show you that they are really thinking into their products and listening to feedback, and that is they added a tongue and groove to the outlets. And what this does is it helps you out if you are wiring boxes with two plus more um, switches or outlets. Like, let's just say a three or four gang box. If you've ever done one, you know the issues that you get with aligning those. And now they've got you taken care of. Here's a good time to ask, do you like hamburgers or hot dogs? Like, subscribe. See you next time.